I was gonna. I was just gonna tell you that um, <laughs> I know that there's a massive blizzard coming, and your first, um, your first, you know, like impulse or inclination is to probably go out driving in the in, in a blizzard in your Camry. But I'm just calling to uh, tell you, uh, don't do that, Christy. Don't do it. <laughs> Remember what happened last time? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me get, let me get a uh, read on that gas tank right there. Oh, oh man. Oh. Almost hey. completely empty. These days, gas isn't cheap, dude. And I know you don't have gas in your car, so don't don't drive in the blizzard, Christy. Actually, Mooney, I do have gas in my car. Check one, check, two, check, 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 one, two, check, check, one, two, check, one, two, check, check, one, two, check, 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 check. Good morning, YouTube. My name is Michael from the Iron Snail. And today I'm pleased to announce that we will be reviewing the Filson lined Mackinac Cruiser, which you might know is sold out. But we have access to one exclusively for the Iron Snail. So even better, out of all of that, it is a snowstorm outside. So this will be a perfect testing scenario. But since, I can't bend my arm like that. But since it is, I can't, I can't bend my arm like that. And the clothing is, is gonna be too short. Do you wanna wear short clothing? I don't wanna wear short clothing. So, I but I can't bend my arm like that. Because it's a blizzard outside, it's going to be an it Two strikes. I said I can't bend my arm like that. You have to figure out a way to do it. Since it's a blizzard outside, it's a perfect scenario for testing this garment. But sadly, I am returning it for reasons we will talk about later. And on top of all that, I am being measured for a jacket from the brand Manufactura Ciccarelli after I made their last video and they specifically requested that I send the measurements. Thank you. Sup YouTube, it's Michael. This is Brendan, one of my BFFs. Hello. He is wearing an SNS Herning sweater. That is beautiful, it's worse than wool. He wouldn't tell me what it was. For several hours. For hours, <laughs> and it was driving me nuts. But it's beautiful. Today we are testing out. Brendan, you wanna entertain them while I get the jacket? Uh, this is, so I've never held one of these before. This is a measuring tape. We, today we are testing. <laughs> today we are testing out the Filson Mackinac wool line jacket, which is very cool. The lining is a blend, so that's kind of interesting. And this video does end with us returning the jacket, but not really for the reason you may think. Just yeah, kind of a kind of a dumb reason. Dumb old Filson. So this video, I am Apartment Mike. I will be overseeing the entire operation, making sure everything runs smoothly, giving you some things that I forgot to say because I was goofing around with Brendan, and we will be going from there. We will go over sizing, materials, the lining, and then we'll do a little comparison of the Packer versus this lined cape coat because it is interesting. I think there's a winner, but I'll tell you why. If you're debating between these two, I'll give you my thoughts. And then finally, I'll tell you why I'm returning the jacket. Okay, hello, let's talk about sizing real quick. The Filson line denim cruiser that I had with the wool lining, I got an extra small and it was still, it fit me really well and I bet after I washed it, it would fit even better. But this is an extra small, oh no, sorry, this is just a small, so true to size and it fits me really well. The sleeves are a little long if I take off my mitten, but not that long. So, unlike the other one, I'd say stick true to size because you don't want to get a jacket in the winter, it's too small. Nothing good for layering about that. Also, should note, still very warm. Now the reason that I said you should note that I'm still very warm is because previously I did a test at the Brooklyn Public Library outside where it was very, very, very abnormally windy just in one spot. So we stood there, it was 15 degrees. I don't know what the wind was there, but my phone was saying 20 miles an hour, so it felt like two outside and the jacket was performing great. That's not really shocking with this heavy of a jacket. It should be able to do much colder, but just for reference, it was doing great. The wind was 20 miles an hour or higher in that spot, and I could feel it going through the jacket and hitting my back, but not a lot, and I was still warm. So things are good. I like your jacket. I think he said thanks, I didn't hear him. In the Packer coat, I am an extra small, but in the lined Cape Coat Cruiser, 
I am a small. And that is because the lining is so thick, it's essentially two layers. This jacket, the outside of it, just the first base layer, is 26 ounce Mackinac virgin wool. Now, being a virgin, now virgin wool is great because it has lanolin on it, so it's very water resistant. And like I said before, it is wind resistant. I can't compare this to a regular Mackinac because I haven't worn one in a while, and there's a lining, so that definitely makes it more wind resistant. But 26 ounce virgin Mackinac wool is very heavy. And then, as you can see, this is a cape coat. So around the shoulders and chest area, and then along the back, there is another layer of, I think, 26 ounce wool. So across the upper chest, there is 52 ounces of wool. And it's very, very warm. That also adds to wind resistance. And if it's raining, that gives you a lot more time for the water to actually start touching you because wool is so water resistant and there's two layers. So that's really, really nice. It is not a double Mac. A double Mac, the double lining goes over the sleeves too. And the sleeves in here are lined with something that we'll get into in a second. It's not a fan favorite, but if they were double lined, I am 99% positive. One, they'd be too warm, but two, that more people would like it better for a certain reason. So now, two very interesting things about this jacket. One of them obviously being the lining, but also the sleeve linings. So I guess just the lining. All right, so together, I am wearing a $750 26 ounce Mackinac <laughs> wool jacket with the insulated lining and polyester insulated lines and a double cape on the front, and I'm warm. Brandon, what about you? I'm wearing a, a long sleeve shirt and a okay. t-shirt yep. and a uh, sweater. SNS herning sweater. Uh, this coat. And are you warm? Very. Except for my hands when I take my gloves off. Well, yeah, that's how. So, yeah, it's not incredible that the jacket is still warm at this point, really at all. But it is good. I think, I don't know what temperature it would it would have to be tested at, but very, very, very cold, especially if you're layer, layering. So, it's going to be warm. I think I could probably take the sweater off and still be warm. I think you could take... I could probably strip down naked and still be warm. <laughs> still be warm. Oh, also, Brennan looks like a combination <laughs> of Holden Caulfield and this specific photo of James Dean. Check one two, check 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 one two checking one two checking 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 one two thirty two percent wool forty eight percent acrylic twenty percent polyester percent wool forty two percent acrylic twenty percent polyester thirty two percent wool forty two percent acrylic twenty percent polyester twenty forty eight no thirty thirty 32% wool, 48% acrylic, 20% polyester. Is the inside lining of this jacket, which a lot of people don't like because it's not 100% wool. Interesting, someone commented on my last video that um, the reason they probably do acrylic is because it's softer, it has a better hand feel than straight wool, which I never even thought of. So if you commented that, congratulations. Uh, I'll pin your comment to the top, just say whatever you want, no matter how bad it could be, get, pinning it to the top. So that, I'm assuming that's why they do acrylic. Acrylic is also synthetically the closest tie to wool, so that's that's why those are typically seen together. And then finally, polyester is usually for strength, because it's not pilling or anything like that, so it wears longer, which never really bothers me. Although these things up there, those always do, because I when you get really close to them, your animal instincts kick in, because they're just huge creatures that at any moment could just go berserk. But a lot of people don't like when it's a blend. I do like that just because of all the other properties, but no, it's not 100% wool, so that is a turn off for a lot of people. And when we were talking about the lining on the sleeves before, on the inside, it's polyester lined and polyester insulation, so like strings of polyester. People also, in the last video I made, commented that their arms get really sweaty and it doesn't breathe because polyester is a synthetic, so it's a plastic. Didn't think about that either, but it is very warm. I think the ideal version of this jacket, though, would be the same inside lining, which is the blend, with like a double Mac outer, so two linings of wool, so that way it breathes better and your arms don't get sweaty when you're using this for its fully intended purpose. Looking at the lining though, really quick, it is really thick, it does add a ton of warmth to the jacket, and it's really cool, it's soft, it's not really that aggravating at all. It is not the thickest Sherpa lining I have ever seen. That goes to a Timberland jacket that I had in college that Ignacio stole. He stole my jacket and then switched schools, and I never got it back. Now on to the interesting, oh, by the way, I'm wearing my L.L. Bean slippers. Now on to the, oh, this is 100% shearling. This, if this was on the inside, this would be an insane coat.
Okay, so now the interesting part. We're comparing two of Filson's most flagship, or I guess not most flagship, that doesn't make sense. These are both Filson's flagship wool jackets, but they immediately kind of ignore the great benefits of wool, which I always thought was interesting. When you look at the lined Cape Co, I don't really think the acrylic wool lining is that much of an issue at all. I think that still does what it does. If you fall on a lake, I think it'd be fine. But the sleeves are polyester, so they kind of take away the breathable properties of wool. And then when you look at the Packer coat, the whole thing is lined with eight ounce, 100% cotton flannel. And cotton is notoriously very, very bad in the winter. I think the wool on the outside is insulating enough that it wouldn't mess you up on the inside, but that is weird in general, I think at least. Maybe there's a reason, I don't know. But when you're comparing these two jackets and you're trying to see what is the ultimate filter wool jacket. Obviously, well maybe not obviously, if we're looking at the lined cape coat, the very big question is does that lining make it the warmest wool Filson coat there is? Here is what I think. Yes and no. Wow, thanks Michael, you're just so helpful with your reviews, dude, you're so smart. Wow, how'd you figure that out? I think this jacket with the 26 outer, the cape, and then this lining make it warmer than the Packer coat in theory. That lining, I think, does defeat a double layer of wool, but Here's the flip side and why the Packer coat, I think is all around a better jacket and a warmer jacket. And there's an extra reason as to why I think you should get the Packer coat if you're debating on going between the two. So essentially the Packer coat is a extra long double Mac with a sheepskin collar and an eight ounce cotton flannel lining. But what you do gain, it's very blatantly obvious, and that is extra length, which covers you more. And then that massive sheepskin collar that when you pop it up, comes up to your ears and you can latch it closed. That adds a ton of warmth. It doesn't let wind go down the collar. It protects your neck, the best protect your neck and your face, which is invaluable when you're outside in the cold. And since you have the extra length and that massive collar that covers your neck, protect your neck and face, that takes the cake, I think, for overall warmth. The final thing I will say though, is if you're debating between the Filson Packer and the Line Mackinac Cruiser, I think you should get the Packer because the Packer is just that is truly the ultimate Filson jacket that of course is a beautiful jacket and it's very warm, but it's just that level of jacket is art. The reason I'm returning it is because the jacket is with that lining. It does make you look a lot bulkier. The Packer coat also looks slimmer. And I think if anything, I will probably get a double Mac and I'm waiting till next year to see what the colorway for that is. Unless I change my mind and get the Packer coat because I think I look pretty cool in it and I would love to look cool. That's my goal. Although I was a little afraid that I would get mugged. Either way, I'm having an allergic reaction to something right now. I don't particularly know what it is, but I will see you next week. I hope your life is good. I hope your day is good. I hope your night is good. And I will talk to you later.